In a weary year, we yearn for peace, for the war to cease. But which war and what does peace look like to you? Well, this week, every day, we're going to look at the peace that Advent announces. We saw it on that first morning of the birth of our Lord, announced by angel hosts. We heard it in his final promise on the night before he died, my peace I leave with you. Having celebrated the birth of hope last week, we pivot now to peace this week. So, what is peace to you? For me, growing up, one of the most vivid images of peace was a ticker tape parade down New York City uh, after the end of World War II. The multitudes, the celebration, peace breaking out all over the world. In the last decade, peace means something very different. Peace in the Middle East after a decade or more of the war on terror, A whole generation raised, my kids' generation raised during this war. It seems like peace is breaking out in the Middle East between Israel and those Islamic nations. Today, in the last year, few years, peace might make us long for domestic tranquility. Peace in our streets, which are increasingly violent uh, with feelings of alienation and political partisanship. Or maybe peace for you is a hot cup of tea in the slow morning in front of the fire, a good read. Maybe peace looks like peace in your home with uh, conflict between family members. People often seek peace in the form of grand schemes, Uh, of empire or legislation, grand gestures of detente or elaborate self-help programs. But Advent says it all starts small, like the Prince of Peace born in a feed trough, almost completely unnoticed, announced only to those grimy shepherds. The message was, the Lord has come, Maranatha, Or it starts as small as that quiet promise that Jesus made in the upper room on the night before he died. My peace I leave with you. Heard only by his disciples. The message was, the Lord come, Maranatha. Jesus has been turning this warring world little by little into a place of peace ever since. And obviously, he's got quite a ways to go. We're going to talk about how he's doing it and what it looks like in our lives this week. So come on back.